big storms that rolled through the metro this summer, some that came with some awfully big mm. hail, which means your roof could have seen some damage yes, in your could. car and your boat. And by the way, if you have a boat, congratulations. You're a boat owner, and so you're superior cool. to all of us. <laughs> but if you have all of those things, and then maybe they all got damaged, exactly how many deductibles are you going to have oh, to pay? Oh, gosh. Turns out that there is one sort of coverage that could simplify the math for you. We turn to the experts at TCL Sponsor, the Canopy Group, to break it all down and maybe save you some money in the process. Common loss deductible. This is our storm series, and so... Uh, common loss deductible, I think, is a phrase that folks might not really know what it means, but it really has an impact on what might happen for them in the world of insurance claims after a storm moves through. So uh, explain common loss deductible to the viewer. So, Steve, it's a perfect time to have that conversation because we had hail go through the Twin Cities on Saturday. So if you had your camper, your two cars out of your garage, and the hailstorm came, 81% of the population would have four deductibles. With the Canopy Group and our common loss deductible, because there was only one peril, one occurrence, you only have one deductible. So that means that if, if there's a storm that comes through and then you've got some kind of damage on your house, but your car was parked outside as well, most of us are racking up like, oh, that's X amount of dollars for the roof possibly and another 500 for the car. I didn't even know that there was such thing as a common loss deductible. Right, so if the peril, if you know the occurrence is common, you only have one deductible. Paul, more people should know about this, don't you think? 81% of the people in Minnesota have multiple deductibles because it's it follows the policy, not the occurrence. Get your 